What's going on you guys? We're gonna go and check the uh, the Legacy GC wired controller that I want to use for Game Boy Player games. It has the GameCube buttons right here like you can see on the packaging. It is a remade, I think it's supposed to be a remade of the original Game Boy Player controller but with the retro bit. I guess it's just a recreation of the original very expensive controller that looks like a SNES controller. GameCube button. So I wanted to open this since it since it arrived a few days ago. I just wanted to wait until I could make an unboxing video for you guys first and foremost. I wanted to tr try out the uh, wireless, I guess the wireless camera, which I can just take the camera anywhere and record stuff. But here we have it, the retro bit right there. Legacy, like I said, we got, it works with Game GameCube, anything that can connect to a GameCube port. So it's always going to work on Switch as well. If you have one of those converters or the GameCube thing, but it doesn't have all the buttons you need for some game. It shows here on the back. We have the extra buttons that the Joy-Cons have, I believe. I don't know what those buttons uh, are, they? Yeah, yeah, C dual buttons, so it's two C buttons. Instead of triggers, it's just buttons. So it's uh, all the buttons you need from GameCube. The Game Boy Player, that's all we want, you know? Use this screwdriver here to cut off this. I don't know. Okay, there's not a lot in here. You get the... Thank you for per the purchase, retro bit stuff. But nothing else in the box, it's pretty empty right there. Got everything in this plastic uh, thing. I'm gonna keep the box, of course. I always keep boxes just in case I think of sell reselling. This is all you really get. For what I can tell, capture is kind of GameCube button. It's been a while since I use a GameCube controller, but it is pretty comfortable. It kind of feels like a Game Boy Advanced in a way, like a Game Boy Advanced. As you can see here, it's like bell bolt out like this on each side. Got the start select. A typical star select that the GameCube controller has. The D-pad is not the best, but it's not the worst either. I think Retrobit is pretty good at making D-pads. Uh, very satisfying to click and probably play uh, Game Boy games. This is the reason I got this, because I have a Game Boy player that is black and a GameCube is black, so why not buy a black controller that fits very well with that? Probably gonna play a lot more GameCube games now. And there's not a lot of stuff to talk about with this unboxing, it's just a simple GameCube plug to your GameCube, so you can use this on GameCube. And I guess if I ever wanted to try shiny hunting on GameCube, which I'm never gonna do because it's one in 8,000, that might be possible to use for that. Probably gonna use this a lot. I've been planning on playing a lot of Game Boy games because I have some of my favorite Game Boy games I wanna play that isn't Pokemon. So yeah, we're gonna be able to do that with the Game Boy player. And I have a lot of uh, other things I wanna do too, I guess, with the Game Boy player. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's the unboxing. It's a very simple unboxing because everything is just in one piece here. So there's not a lot more to show besides this. So I hope you guys like the unboxing video. I want to do more unboxings in the future. I just don't have the energy to record, but I think I should be able to record now. So hopefully you guys are excited for some more GameCube stuff. All right. Goodbye, everybody.